So this is our, this is the mini orchard. So apple trees, apple trees, apple trees, apple tree, pear. Those are all scrub plum along there. More pear trees over there and apple trees. So there's a lot of windfalls here. If we walk under this apple tree, you can see the windfalls, all those windfalls. And you can see also the grass is a good height. You know, like that, you can see the grass is a good height. It's under all these trees. And the rest of the flock is on the other side of the fence over there. So what I'm going to do is let Ebony out in this paddock with the alpaca. There's a diversity of plants in here as well like um, plantain and clover and yarrow, etc. And plenty of nettles. So I'm going to let Ebony out here and I'll leave this gate open and the alpaca and they can graze in here. But I'll leave, here's, this is, this is the front or the back of an old stove, but it's an excellent weighty gate holder. You can see everybody's ready. Yeah, you know. So you can see Ebony's much better, very cheery. There's no, no uh, maggots on her anymore. She's a happy girl. Okay. And I'm gonna let her out there with the alpaca. Brindle, leave it. Leave her be. Good girl. Yeah, she's smelling her. Because she's smelling... She's smelling meaty. But that's because the maggots exposed her flesh and chewed into the top layers of her flesh. So she might have a scar where her wool doesn't grow back. Look, she's eating an apple. Having a lovely munch of an apple. Yum, yum, yum. She's going to go off looking for more apples. The alpaca are here. They love this cooking apple. This is this tree here. You can see there's lots of apples on the roof there that have fallen. This particular apple tree is a very delicate cooker that makes delicious apple tarts. And the alpaca particularly like this apple tree. You can see these ladies. Oh, I'm going to scare them. This is our wood pile, by the way. And this is kind of my, all my rubbish is hidden here. Here are some more house water tanks that the plumber has given me. See, holding water that I will be putting um, under down pipes to collect water, or I will be using to plant tomatoes or cucumbers for next season, next year. Anyway, you can see, look at how high the grass is. Lovely high grass. Over there, that's our wood chip pile. This is what I do. The bedding is straw, wood chip, and then the ladies manure it, both horses, sheep, and alpaca. So this is my wood pile, which is shallow, but will be growing in the next number of days because the wood chip guys are bringing it. Anyway, that gives Ebony some outdoor time, and I will leave this gate open so she can have access to shelter if it rains or she feels chilly. I'll close this gate off though, because I don't want her, I don't want her to go into this paddock because then she might end up mixing up with those sheep or the main flock. And I want to keep her separate for the time being. So I'd say she will be very comfortable now for this next period of time. She can't decide what to eat. She's like, what do I get? An apple? Or do I eat some plantain? Or do I eat some grass? Which kind of grass do I want? So she's gonna wander around, as are the alpaca. The alpaca are very happy to be in here. The alpaca love their apples. Look at her. She's digging around amongst the nettles just to get some of that cooker apple. Now they're going to that. There's another apple tree windfalls there that they're now eating. So everybody loves the, um, here, Ebony. What is Ebony going after would be kind of interesting. 
if there's something specific she's looking for to eat. Oh, just windfall apple tree leaves. Interesting. I think there might be a tannin, uh, a tannin in that. So if she, her stomach is upset because she wasn't eating for a while, there might be tannin. See, she's literally picking up the wind fallen apple tree leaves. There's a few, she's, that's a bit of um, coxfoot. She's eating grass. She's avoiding the nettles. But you can see, poor girl, she really got scabbied by them feckin' maggots. Look at her, eating all the windfall leaves. She's going around. There must be a medicinal thing, like a tannin or something, in windfall and leaves. I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody more intelligent can enlighten me on why, what is the medicinal aspect of windfall and apple tree or plum leaves. She's literally going around picking up the fallen, and that's coxfoot, which is a deep-rooted grass, so it's full of vitamins and minerals. She's going her way through the nettles. And, yep, no, nope, it's apple tree, it's the leaves, the fallen leaves. She's going around for every single one of them. Not the fresh grass, not the windfall and apples, but the leaves. It would be very interesting to know what is the medicinal makeup or what is the chemical makeup or mineral makeup or vitamin makeup of fallen, of fallen leaves. Is that what you want? Very interesting.